I used to carry around a lot of hurt feelings and in, in this past year I cried and released those hurt feelings and after, after I cried it, I just started getting used to it and it, I enjoy crying now. It's, it's almost like a spiritual feeling that just needs to take place within me. There was many, many times where I felt confused and isolated. I used to think people would avoid me because of just how emotional I had become and like just how my, how my feelings had started to run me as a person. But now I feel like I have more control over my feelings than a year ago. Ever since I joined the Plain and Safe project, I learned how to trust myself and other people. I would not feel comfortable sharing my experiences with people because I did not trust people. I did not trust what they would do with the information after I had shared it with them. This project has helped me take a really good look at myself. And it also helped me look at other people's as humans and how they have feelings that can be hurt. I guess I would have to say that I was um, a selfish person before I got into this project. And it really helped me overcome a lot of my insecurities. I would hope that um, after the project is complete, that society would overcome a lot of the stigma that is placed around HIV and AIDS. Because there's no reason to fear people who are living with HIV or AIDS. There's no reason at all. I don't feel so happy about these films. I think my first initial thought would be it's because it hurts. It hurts to share my story sometimes. And people just don't understand or they could never understand how much this hurts to be sitting here sharing a story about my reckless behaviors. But I make these films so that there's a voice for the youth that do not have a voice. So it's, it's an honor to be sitting here in front of this camera, sharing my experience with people. I will be getting an assessment. Two doctors will be assessing me to see if I am eligible for the orchiectomy. So that means I would be getting my surgery paid for. And it's exciting, but it's scary at the same time. That should be happening within the next few months. Um, also, I'm wanting to save up for um, uh, the thyroid surgery. So that means I would be shaving down my Adam's apple so that it would be non-existent. I'm hoping to go back to school to become a pharmacy technician. And I just feel like I am on a path that I always wanted to be on. <laughs> what would you want? What do you want? To get you on camera. Oh, look, you did. And Mission accomplished. And what would you tell a person who's uncomfortable with masturbating? Get over it.